students. This week we are going to make Andy Warhol prints. We're going to design our own little styrofoam art print and we're going to use some water and some markers and make some fun little prints of our own. So here we go. Okay guys, we're getting ready for our Warhol prints that we're going to make today. So let's gather our supplies. The first thing you'll need is a little bit of water. You'll need a sponge. I just took one and cut it in half because you don't need too big of a size. You'll need some markers. You need a pencil and it's preferable if it's a dull pencil. So you don't want your pencil to be very sharp. You'll need a piece of paper. It can be white paper, it can be copier paper, whatever pep paper you have. I cut mine a little bit smaller so that um, when I'm putting my stamps on that it's not going to have a bunch of extra white space. So this is actually um, cut down a little bit. I have a piece of scratch paper and then I also have a piece of styrofoam. Now styrofoam you can find it easily by just getting like styrofoam plates and then maybe cutting a piece out of that like the bottom part out so that you can carve into it. We're gonna be using that styrofoam as our art print today. So the first thing you wanna do is just think of something that you would like to create as a repeating design. You can do anything from unicorns to rainbows um, to lines. One suggestion is I would not do any letters because if you print letters, they're gonna print backwards. So um, I would just do shapes, designs, something fun you like. So I think what I'm going to do, I really like rainbows. So I'm going to create a rainbow. And so first I'm just gonna kind of sketch out what I might like. And then maybe a little sunshine behind it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to make. So then I'm going to take my styrofoam and you only have one piece. So um, you wanna make sure you do it right the first time. That's why we kind of sketch it out first and decide what we wanna do. So right in the middle, I'm going to just start. And what I do is I push down with my pencil and drag. So you're making this indentation into the styrofoam. Do it again, make sure you push nice and firm so it's making that indentation there. You might not be able to see it too well because the pencil is pretty dull. Okay, and then I'm going to do my little clouds at the ends. And then my little sunshine behind it. And I might just do maybe one more line. There we go. Okay, guys, so I hope you can kind of see it. It's a little bit difficult to see, but you can tell that my little drawing that I drew on my sketch piece of paper to practice, that's what I drew right here. And you can use this whole area, or you can just draw in a little section. Now after you have your print already, now we have to put the ink on our print. So we're going to just back up a little bit. And so any colors you want with your markers, go ahead and color it.
Now also like for my clouds, I'm going to color those as well because if I don't color them, you won't see anything. Because we have to have some sort of ink go over on the page for it. Okay, you could also color on the outside too. So this is going to be my first stamp. Now, this is where we need our sponge. So with our sponge, we're going to put it in the water and then you wanna squeeze all that water out. So basically you just want your, your sponge to be nice and damp, okay? So now you're going to think about where on your paper do you want to put your um, art print. So I'm gonna put mine in this upper area and I'm just going to blot it and you don't want to soak your paper, you just wanna blot it. And then wherever you want your print, you're going to put it face down and then you're going to rub it really hard. So now what we're doing, we're transferring that ink. It's a lot different than screen printing, but it's kind of the same idea. Um, we're transferring that ink from our template, from our art stamp to our paper up really hard and then when you're all done you take it up and there you go you got your stamp and then guys you want to take this color off because you want to um, do some different ones with different colors so what you do is you'll wet a paper towel and you just rub right over it and it'll get that first color off maybe not all of it will be gone but it'll be enough for you to do another stamp so there we go I'm gonna try another one and you just repeat it all over your paper wherever you want And there you have it. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I hope you had fun learning how to do these Andy Warhol prints. Take care and have a great day.